Good day, everybody, and welcome back to Daily Devotions for Monday, December the 28th. Our reading today comes to us from the Old Testament prophet Jeremiah. So we're going to be looking at Jeremiah chapter 31, verses 7 through 14. For thus says the Lord, sing aloud with gladness for Jacob, and raise shouts for the chief of the nations. Proclaim, give praise, and say, Save, O Lord, your people, the remnant of Israel. See, I am going to bring them from the land of the north, and gather them from the farthest parts of the earth, among them the blind and the lame, those with child and those in labor, together. A great company, they shall return here. With weeping, they shall come. And with consolations, I will lead them back. I will let them walk by brooks of water, in a straight path, in which they shall not stumble. For I have become a father to Israel, and Ephraim is my firstborn. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations, and declare it in the coastlands far away. Say, He who scattered Israel will gather him and will keep him as a shepherd of a flock. For the Lord has ransomed Jacob and has redeemed him from hands too strong for him. They shall come and sing aloud on the height of Zion. And they shall be radiant over the goodness of the Lord, over the grain, the wine, and the oil, and over the young of the flock and the herd. Their life shall become like a watered garden, and they shall never languish again. Then shall the young women rejoice in the dance, and the young men and the old shall be merry. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will comfort them. And give them gladness for sorrow. I will give the priests their fill of fatness, and my people shall be satisfied with my bounty, says the Lord. I wrote uh, this devotion while typing on my laptop. And you are very likely listening uh, to it on your computer or your smartphone or, or tablet. Are you, like me, always looking at the latest new gadget and wanting to try it out? I'm terrible. I, I fool myself by saying that it's just harmless curiosity. But let's be honest, I am coveting. And let's be even more honest, our desire for such things often takes the place of our giving praise for what God has already given. No, not, not my gadgets, but food and water, salvation and grace and love, and life. God gives us enough, yet we are never satisfied. God delivers us, yet we feel trapped and scared. God does all for us, and yet it is never enough. All through Scripture, we are reminded of what God has done is doing and will do for us. And what does God desire in return? For us to sing aloud with gladness, to raise shouts, praise for the good in our lives, to give thanks for our salvation that is ours in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Let us pray. 
Gracious God, I do not give thanks enough for all you have done for me, for what you are currently encouraging me to be, and for what you have promised for me in the future. Forgive me. Indeed, I do want to sing praises for your creation, for your abundance, for your love. Provide for me a community that will help me to do this. Amen. Grace and peace be with you this day and every day. And I look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. Bye for now.